Cartography is the study of maps. But to me, cartography is creating your own world and creating a place for your imagination to go into. These days, maps are tools many now use on smartphones and computers. For Hongwanji Mission School, 6th grader Sidney Cogswell, maps are unique works of art that he draws by hand. He became interested in map making in the summer of 2019. Uh, I was watching this YouTuber who focused on D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons, but I was really interested in the cartography part, so I decided to learn some techniques like drawing mountains, forests, so that's how I got into map making and that's what I like. Since then, Cindy creates one-of-a-kind maps with a unique characteristic. I draw um, fictional maps based off of real-world land masses. I don't really plan my maps, I make themes. So I just focus on the terrain features. I do get inspiration from nature, like the jagged cliffs and, you know, the ridges. As he draws his maps, Sydney constantly looks for ways to make his maps better. After I finish a map, I tend to just look at my maps, see what I did wrong, see how I can fix it and how I can make it look better and change, maybe change my process. And then I hang them up and then I admire them. The thing is, I don't ever get bored drawing maps because there's so many possible outcomes. You use your creativity, you make a world one way, Another person uses their own creativity. Make it another way. I like it because you have many, many possibilities. Sydney has turned cartography into more than an interest. It's become a passion. My biggest goal in cartography is to be able to make people have, you know, fun with maps, I guess, and so that they can enjoy maps the way I like him. As Sydney pursues his newly found passion, He'll continue to use maps as a canvas to display and share his unique worlds. This is Brody Tran from Hongwanji Mission School for Hikino. Hikino, Thursday at 7.30 on PBS Hawaii.